Hey guys, welcome to the second channel. This video stirred up a lot of interest in these mounts, so I launched them. And 48 hours later, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I will say this, it's completely changed what I was doing for the next five to seven days, for sure. <laughs> Let's dive right in. First of all, thank you so much for the response on this. <laughs> this has been crazy. Uh, the numbers are basically um, within 48 hours right now. It's exactly 48 hours since the video has been launched. We're talking 348 units. Now that's a lot of units considering they consist of three parts and I have to machine those parts. So I didn't machine a bunch of these in the interim expecting this. I thought maybe if I did that, then you know I wouldn't have good traction as weird as that sounds, but we've had great traction thus far. So basically what that means is I've got to be cutting on the CNC quite a bit right now to get these orders fulfilled. Um, this part here, I'm going to tell you, only can get 34 out of one sheet on the capacity in which my machine can hold. I can get 26 of these parts and then the middle corbel, I can get about 80 something of those. So I've got roughly 450 parts cut um, for the back part, which is quite a bit. Um, and I'm going to be getting these orders out a hundred at a time, a uh, hundred units at a time. So that's maybe about 25 to 40 orders, depending on how many people have ordered them. Uh, I asked that people understood that I would get these made within two to four days of the purchaser purchasing it. Uh, it's going to be a little bit longer for those of you who've purchased in the last 24 hours or so. Um, I've got my UPS account set up. I've got a Thermal label maker coming in. I've got I've got it all set up. It's going to be set up tomorrow uh, to be able to, to pack and ship from this shop, which is going to be great. Uh, <clears throat> so 100 orders, 100 100 orders, 100 units at a time. I should be able to get some out Friday or Saturday uh, at the latest Monday, and then later in the week, starting next week, uh, I'll be able to get the remainder of these orders out. So. Thank you so much again for that. I just wanted to give you an update and I'm going to show you kind of right now uh, in this video um, how I've had to change a couple different things to make this a little bit easier to get this product ready to go. All right, so let's dive in. So in my attempts to deliver the nicest product to you as efficiently as possible, I've kind of set up this little rig here to get all of the fuzzies off the CNC cut machined parts. And you can see here my Festool sanders just turned upside down, kind of mounted in place. And more on that later, I can do better. But I've got pieces cut out, everything ready to go. It looks like I need a little bit more plywood for this. I'm exhausting what I have. And here we go. This is how I do this. I have a Penguin CNC. It's a really strong machine. I'm using bits from Bits and Bits, and I can't thank these two companies enough for helping me along this venture. And as you see here, the pieces come off pretty interestingly. <laughs> And that negative grid is actually a pretty cool looking piece as well. So what I'm going to do is, well, I got to figure out a way to get this sander back up on its hindquarters a little bit easier instead of using a wedge and a couple clamps. So I've de developed this little device here and it works pretty well, but oh, it wants to escape. So we can fix that even further by just clamping down a piece of wood right in front of it. However, with this setup, can't really adjust the speed nor can I turn it on and off very easily but it's gonna work for now all right it's gonna work for now so I'm gonna show you a time lapse of me running through and this is kind of the process so far and I will say this there's just something so satisfying about machined parts all lined up together in a row posted that on Instagram today it got a pretty good response it's just so neat looking Honestly, back to this thing though, I'm gonna cut out a little wedge here with my multi-tool because I can't access the button to hold the sander on in place. Makes sense, right? I need to have access to that to make this efficient. And that's the whole goal here. And instead of clamping something in place to keep it from sliding out, let's just go ahead and make something as well. This is just something I'm throwing together and pretty crudely, but it's gonna do the job and I'm happy with it. So here we go, 34 pieces cut and taking them over to the workbench. These are the back portions that are gonna be attached to the wall of the tool holders. And we got it all set up, clamp it in place. And you can see here, well, yes, I got my camera out because I need to make sure when the school bus comes to get my kids. This is the setup, day in the life, guys. This is real life, I'm telling you. I love the second channel because I get to show things that maybe I don't ordinarily do on my main channel. And well, I'm making a, uh, a couch, a little wooden sofa, I guess. As you can see it kind of coming together, <laughs> a wooden sofa. That's what it looks like to me. 
um, I mount a piece on one end and then the other, another mirrored image of that. And honestly, it does look like a low profile kind of scan design sofa. But this is actually, if you've guessed it, what it's gonna be used for, it's gonna help me organize the pieces that come off the sander. So the reason those tabs are sticking out the back, recognize that guy? <laughs> What's up, Caleb? So the reason those tabs are sticking out the back is so I can clamp it in place. Now this is my workstation. This is what I like so far and it may change, but this is working for me at the moment. Now I'm gonna bring you in here real time, okay? This is gonna take roughly about a minute and you're gonna see just exactly how long it takes me to prep three of these pieces. So I prep one side and then I sand the other and then I go ahead and knock off a little bit of the, the coarseness um, that is plywood. Anytime you machine the plywood, sometimes it's not exactly, you know, exactly smooth. So that being said, I'm gonna make sure I can give you guys a desired product. When you open this from me, um, I haven't worked out packaging yet, but I'm sure I will. Uh, when you open this, I want this to feel good. I want you guys to have hold this in your hand before you do put a finish sanding on it or do a final sanding on it. I want it to be, you know, good to the touch. I want you to feel like, hey, I got a quality product from me. And that's the goal of doing this setup and to show you guys that what really goes into this, um, and I don't want to fall short on, uh, you know, pleasing you guys with this product. So hopefully you enjoyed this little, uh, you know, <laughs> exhibition of a real-time strategy of doing this. All right, now I'm going to speed things up just a little bit more. But you can see here, I've done quite a few. It's taken me about 30 or 40 minutes. And I've done this quite a bit all day today. And I'm happy to do it because at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. I want to add value to this community. I want to provide something that I think is unique and, and fun and cool. And that's been the whole goal of this venture. And I can't thank you guys enough for the support. It's been absolutely incredible. And here you go. Here's my setup. I'm storing these now. And I can't wait to pack and ship these to you guys in the near future. Thank you so much. This has been incredible. This last 48 hours on the reception that we got for really my first like true product launch has been overwhelming. <laughs> and to say the least, I mean, 348 units sold in 48 hours. Woo. At one point I was sitting in my chair and I was going through and I was getting these emails that just kept coming in and telling me that, you know, the orders were coming in and I, I got a little misty eyed. I was like, this is, it was just awesome. So thank you so much. Um, in this closing statement though, I, I do want to give you guys a little bit of, um, some insight on the couple different features I didn't share in the original video. Uh, yes, they do have this kind of crazy cutout look. Excuse me. Come here. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So they do have this crazy cutout look. Oh my goodness. It's a party. <laughs> yeah. It's a party. You know what? I'm just going to leave it all in. Why not? So, um, these are exactly, you know, they're parallel to each other, right? Yeah. So, if you want to space these out evenly, hold on, sweetie. If you want to space these out evenly, you could put a stop block in between, drill it in place, stop block, drill it in place, over and over. Come up with a pretty cool, really nice, really uniform uh, setup with uh, those. They have that feature in them. And one more, this is a pretty easy one you may have noticed already, but... This cutout here allows for a drill to have a really long bit still installed and still not hit the wall, which is actually pretty cool too. Um, I think I already stressed that in the video though. All right, hey, come here. Let's tell these people goodbye. Come here. Bye. Oh. Bye. All right, say bye. Yeah. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the orders. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. If you haven't ordered it already and you're still like on the fence, you want to try it out, of course, there's going to be a link in this description. Tell them where to go. Say, go to the description. No. no okay, don't listen to her. Listen to me. Go down there and check it out. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>